Hello everyone, welcome to this series of science lessons. In this presentation, we shall study about water. Water. Water is an essential part of life. We need water in order to sustain our life. And even crops cannot be grown without water. Pure water is also needed for crops. Water is also called life liquid. In Canada, it is also known as Jeeva Jala. Almost 71% of Earth's surface is covered with water. When we see a globe, you can see most of the part is covered with water. Almost 71% is covered with water on the Earth's surface. After studying this lesson, we will come to know about the sources of water understand physical characteristics of water know the importance of know the biological importance of water conservation methods of water traditional and modern ways of conserving water rain is one of the major source of water here in this context we are referring water as pure water which is consumable or drinkable now let us see about other sources of water Oceans. Oceans are the biggest source of water on the earth's surface. Rainwater is also one of the source of river water. Even melted snow from mountains. Even the melted snow could be one of the source of river water. Every river eventually has to meet the ocean. Springs. Water that is stored under the earth surface or earth crust comes out due to high pressure. These are known as springs. Wells. Underground water could be obtained by digging the earth's surface or the earth crust. You can think earth crust as the surface of the earth. When we dig the surface of the earth to a certain depth, there is a possibility of getting water. One example of wells is bore well. This is an example of bore well and this is an example of traditional well. One more source of fresh water is pond. Generally, ponds are artificially built to store water. The water capacity in ponds are comparatively less compared to rivers. Ponds will be filled by rainwater. Next is reservoirs. Dams will be constructed across the rivers to store water. Imagine this is a river. Initially the movement of river will be diverted. Once the flow of water will be diverted, dam could be constructed in between this. Dam could be constructed between this area. Once the dam is successfully constructed, Again, the diverted flow, the flow of water could be resumed as it was before. We don't need this diverted path. This is one of the ways of constructing a dam. Dam is capable of storing water and the stored water could be used. The stored water could be used during dry seasons. Even the stored water could be used for agriculture. These dams are capable of storing water in large quantity and they are called reservoirs. You can use rivers and oceans even for transportation. People also travel on water. Yachts or boats are used for shorter distances. These are even yachts and boats are used to catch fishes. This is for short distance. For longer distance, ships could be used. Living organisms have large quantity of water built within. Generally, animals and plants have about 70% of water content in their body. There are many theories which say that origin of life took place in water. We consume water for our survival. Even plants consume water for their survival. We need to consider the fresh water as precious it should be an integral part of our life. Without water, we cannot sustain for many days. We need fresh water to survive. 
and we should take the responsibility of not polluting the water even our future generations should have water for the survival right so use water carefully and try not to waste water water pollution water could be polluted by garbage by garbage chemical fertilizers such as insecticides and pesticides and the waste material sent out by the factories all this have negative impact on quality of water it may lead to some diseases such as cholera diarrhea dysentery and so many other health related issues sometimes contaminated water even cause death we should be very careful about the water the quality of water even the contaminated water have negative impact on aquatic life such as fish the content of this recording is borrowed from karnataka textbook society bangalore under fair research policy this video is presented by avari technologies please do hit subscribe button to get more content thank you